Well, because we live on an island, it seems that all of the, the adults that are here think it's a natural for uh, okay. the, the youth on Shelter Island to learn how to sail. And this is pretty much the only program that's accessible to them, aside from over at Camp Quinnipiac. I think you know about their program, too. Um, but getting the support from the community, um, especially the donations from the community, has helped us keep the kids in sailing gear, dry suits, you know, all the proper stuff for sailing. It's helped with coaching costs. Uh, you know, Amanda Park has done some coaching here, and that's helped out a lot. Um, but the outpouring of, of giving from the community has just been astonishing to me. That's great. And can you talk a, bit, a little bit about how Shelter Island Yacht Club has been part of the program? Well, believe it or not, this was the Yacht Club brainchild. A lot of people think it was mine. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> After they were done, they came to me and told me, "You're co by the way, you're coaching a high school team. So um, that was kind of funny. But um, well, they picked the right guy. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, they were just really excited about the idea of, the, of giving or, or lending their facilities and equipment to the youth of Shelter Island, the year-round residents enjoy the sport that they enjoy all summer long. So that was yeah. a big thing. A big thing for the club to do. So it's been a successful way for the club to engage more with the town and give back to the community a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's important for me to keep reminding the school, the administrators, the school board, the students, the parents, that the Yacht Club has made all this possible. Uh, and they're the, the primary drive behind this. Uh, so I, I think it's it's good for the yacht club, which in a in a second home or owner home owner community like this, caters mostly to the the seasonal residents and not the year round residents. So this is a really nice gesture from the club, giving back to the island. We've been to Connecticut, to the Coast Guard Academy, raced there, Tom's River, New Jersey, down in Virginia, um, and New Orleans. You know, I've taken these kids have gone to all these places and competed. And I just think it's a wonderful thing to get out of the area that we live in. And, and we're usually, I usually try to take them through the college that we're racing at, you know, to see what the college is like, which I also think is important. For them. It's the sailing, I think for sailing, it's a very tight knit community. It's actually surprising how small it is and how many people know each other. And I mean, I've been talking to people who know people in California that I've met that I'm friends with and like I've never met this person before but it's like a, a big thing for me because I, I know a lot of people that have sailed and have made other friends from other schools and stuff, stuff like that that actually do carry on after high school and it's a sport you can do your whole life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah two, of the, two of the students um, started from scratch in this one or two that started from scratch in the program that knew nothing about sailing both own sailboats now they're in high school and, and they would not be doing that had they not joined the high school sailing program or the sailing. I watched one of the other uh, young students, he, somebody gave him a boat and he was down at Wade's Beach and I happened to be sitting there for an hour and all he was doing was taking people out for sails, just over and over, he'd get two or three in the boat, take them out, bring them back. So he's become an ambassador for sailing just because of the high school sailing program.